Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 user interface development series. In today's video we're going to be showing you how you can play your animations using blueprints within one of your UI widgets. Now in the last video we actually set up a simple animation to make our alpha version 0.1 text just fade in and out. What we're going to be doing is showing you how to take that animation and have it being played within your event graph. And it is really, really straightforward and as such this video is going to be very quick. So what we're going to do to tell the engine to play this animation as it will not play by itself automatically, you need to go to your event graph within your widget blueprint. And then from here, you need to choose an event at which you want it to play. Now, in this case, what I want it to do is to play as soon as it loads in. So what I'm going to do is use the event construct node, which is an event which is going to fire off as soon as this blueprint widget is constructed. I am simply going to tell it to play the animation. So the way we're going to do this is by using the play animation node. So right click, type in play animation and it's this one here that you're looking for the one that says plays an animation in this widget a, spe a specified number of times now with this node what i'm going to do is just hook it up to the end of the sequence for my construct now starting off from the top we're going to go through some of the settings to help you guys understand exactly what they do the target is a reference to the user widget, so the widget which actually contains the animation. Now in this case, because we're trying to play the animation from within this widget blueprint, we can just leave the target reference to itself. Moving on from there, we've also got the in animation, and this is the animation data, so the animation you actually want to play. Now the way that you're actually going to access this is by going over to your variables panel on the left hand side. Within here you've got a little tab for animations. If you expand that you can see we've got the alpha fade animation which we made earlier on. With this we can click, drag and drop it and then just get a reference to that. And with this we can then hook it up to the in animation. And now this play animation node is going to play the alpha fade that we set up in the last video. Moving on from there, we've also got start at time. So this is the time in the animation at which you want it to start playing from. For me, I want it to play from the beginning, um, so I'm just going to leave this at zero. Number of loops to play, this is just basically how many times you want it to play. Now, you can set this to any number, but one thing that you might want to keep in mind is that if you set it to zero, it is going to loop indefinitely. So in this case, where I want it to keep fading in and out for however long, I'm going to set this to zero so it just plays and plays and plays from there. And then moving on from there, you've got your play mode. And this basically just defines the way that you want it to play. So you've got forwards, backwards, and then you've also got the ping pong mode as well. And all of these are pretty straightforward. And if you just hover over each of these, you can get a better understanding of what they do. Forwards is just basically forwards, reverse is reverse. And then lastly, ping pong, an animation that plays from the beginning to the end, and then from the end to the beginning. So it goes to the, so it sort of reverses itself after it's being played essentially. And then lastly, you've also got your playback speed. At the moment it is at one, which means it's 100% the normal speed. If you were to set this to two, it is going to play twice as fast. If you want to slow it down, you can do that. So you can play around with this to give a little bit more control. So what we're going to do now that we've hooked this up, we're going to compile this and open up our main menu level and check out to see how it plays. And as you can see here, it says alpha version 0.1 and it is just looping indefinitely. It's fading in, fading out, fading in, fading out and all of that good stuff. Anyway guys, hopefully you have a better understanding of how you can play animations now using blueprints. Um, there is loads and loads of different sort of ways to start off the sequence of playing an animation, you can do it with gameplay mechanics, you can do it um, you know, at the start of your sort of widget being created like we have done here. All you've got to do is just use that node and hook it up to a different event depending on what you're trying to do. But for now guys, once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, 
Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.